as you can see we've got the quad jacked up this is to help get to the the main crankcase oil plug as you can see there oil filter location but, uh, the crankcase oil filler location under there we've got the uh, the oil tank drain screw underneath there, just underneath the, the black skid, skid pad is the, uh, the main crankcase engine drain bolt we've chosen to put a little engine oil high flow oil filter the NGK iridium spark plug First, we'll start off by undoing the crankcase filler bolt using the other key. Remove the dipstick from the oil filler tank. We need to get in place some sort of bucket or container to catch all the oil from the, um, from the crankcase drain plug. It's going to be around about a litre of oil coming out of the main engine and about a litre, just under a litre and a half out of the filler tank. Undo the, undo the bolt using a 22mm socket. Be careful not to drop the, the the bolt into the oil container. As you can see in this case, the oil is really thin. Don't like it's been changed for a while. It's going to need to be left for about 10 minutes to, to let the oil fully drain out, please. Secondly, remove the oil tank 12mm bolt. Again, be careful not to drop the bolt into the container. Once the bolt's removed, this one's also going to be needed to be left for about 5 minutes or so. Let the oil drain out completely. Now to remove the oil filter cover, held in place by three Allen key bolts. Always use the correct size Allen key to prevent rounding off the heads of the bolts. So it's always a good idea to have a rag handy at this point, just to catch any oil that comes out of the bottom of the cover. Remember, the two top holes have got the long bolts. The one at the bottom is a slightly smaller bolt than the two at the top. As you see, the oil is starting to come out already. Gently pull, out, gently pull off the cover and there's the old used oil filter 
In this case, the author, the author was in a poor condition. I don't know if it's been changed for quite a while, to be fair. It's always a good idea as well to just look at the oil filter and compare it to the new ones to make sure you've definitely got the right oil filter. Like I said earlier, <coughs> take a towel and turn them round where the oil filter goes just to take, take out any old dirt or pieces of dirt in there. You don't want to put a new oil filter in there into all the dirty a dirty, dirty place. As I said, just inspect both filters to make sure they're exactly the same filter before you install it. Just taking away the, the old oil from the, the filter cap. Also, we're going to check the O-ring, the O-ring seal, and the oil filter cover, just to check it for damage. If it is damaged, you're going to have to install a new one. Now, it's always a good idea just to get a bit of grease, put it around the rim, on the black rubber rim of the the new oil filter. Do, do this on both sides. Now to install the oil filter, making sure that you Put the oil filter back the right way, the way it came out. Make sure it's in place, in place properly and install the three screws. Remember the two long ones at the top and the smaller one at the bottom. Never tighten one screw fully, you've got to tighten them gradually. So start from one corner to the other corner and then to the other screw until they're fairly, until they're fairly tight and then tighten them all fully. Always we'll be sure not to over tighten these bolts. Now to reinstall the crankcase drain bolt with the 22mm socket. Again, be careful not to over tighten the bolt. As you can see, just clean around the bolt where the old oil came out. Now to reinstall the oil tank bolt. Again, be careful not to over tighten the bolt.
Now it's time to fill, fill the engine back up and also the oil tank. As you've just seen, the oil tank takes 1.3 litres of oil and the crankcase itself takes a litre. Now I'm just checking the checking the oil level, wiping it, and dips it back in, taking it back out, wiping it, and putting it back in to see where the oil com see where the oil comes on the stick. In this case, it's banged on at the highest point on, on the dipstick. So I'm just going to install the dipstick, and that's the oil tank done. Now to fill the crankcase side. Crankcase takes a litre of oil. Now to install the, the oil filler plug using the anarchy once again. As always, be careful not to over tighten the bolt. That's it, we're done. It's time to fire it up, let it take over for a little bit, make sure everything runs fine. Hope you found this video useful. Please like it and subscribe for many more videos to come soon. Thanks.